It's time to Get Real with Eddie, here to help you understand the changing real estate market and meet your real estate goals. Over 19 years in the business, 2018 Realtor of the Year of Three Rivers, past president of the Three Rivers Association of Realtors, director at the Illinois Association of Realtors, and team lead of the Rudiger Group at Baird & Warner. Here's Eddie Rudiger. Oh, welcome to Get Real with Eddie. It is Tuesday at noon, and we are here in WJOL studio. With me is none other than Nancy Valley from the Rudiger Group at Baird & Warner. Nancy, how are you doing? I am great. Thanks, Eddie. How are you today? I am ready to drop kick my computer. <laughs> Are so, you ready to buy a new one yet? No, you because I've right down and buy a new one. I've got so many of them. I'm not kidding. So the one when that got, they don't work, Eddie. <laughs> well, I just need to get in. I haven't had a chance to get this one in and cleaned up. That's my problem. Mm, I was using bit. another one because this one needed cleaned up, and then as we all know, I ran over that other one by mistake. So it happens. Um, so it happens to everybody at some point. Just run over your computer. So with that being said, <laughs> I turned around and started using the old one. Well, I never really did get in and do the cleanup. Plus, it's been sitting for I don't know how long. So, of course, now it's got to do update after update after update after update after update. So every time, and I'm not on it because, let's be honest, we use, I use my cell phone. Just for this, it's just too hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine trying to use the cell phone? No. No. Trying to read. You yell at me, can you make it a little bigger? Can you make it a little bigger? Can you imagine me trying to... The, to see the type font on set if I... I mean, it'd be my cell phone. You'd be fine. Um, but yeah, it, it just... That's... It's been that kind of a morning, that kind of a day. And... It's uh, been the Mondayest Tuesday I know. Ever. I need... I, that's what you're saying. I need a vacation. So, I really do. Yeah. You're going on vacation. I'm going on vacay. So, which is good. Congratulations. And yes. And I'm, I'm going to do it without you. Yeah, Nancy qualified. We have um, a trip that we, we won. We qualified. We qualified. Okay. We qualified, and Nancy's going to represent the team. Where are you going again? Oh, Los Moreras. Oh, oh. About 40 minutes worth of lovely rest of so and honestly it's not even me or you it's our our clientele we it really truly such, is such i was sitting there and i'm looking at it. our clientele is just awesome the people we get to work with they're just what an awesome bunch of people seriously i mean they they're always sending us more business we're both going crazy in this market that they're like oh yeah the market's slowing um okay sure when can i slow down um, cause no, I, I'm not asking to slow down. I'm very blessed. I would never, I, I'm, yeah. you know, valid point, valid point. I, I'm, I'm very blessed and, and we have slowed down. Let's be honest. We have talked because of the changing market. We have slowed down. Um, and, but yeah, exactly. It's not a major, major, um, amount that we've slowed down. It's, it's a very small amount. Um, all right, so let's get into, you know, it's talking of the market. Um, cause, and that or we can just talk about, you know, the fact that I now have a six-year-old because little man's birthday was yesterday. Yeah, birthday. That guy. I know. Six. How crazy. I know. My wife's like, I have a six-year-old. When did he become six? Um, Monday. He became six on Monday. It's fun to be the, you know, straight guy when mom starts doing the, when did my little guy become a boy? Yesterday. He became six yesterday. <laughs> I know. So, but I get it. it you know, it, it's different between, you know, for me versus my wife. We both have, you know, pride moments, but it's just, it's different. And that's why we make such a great, you know, team and yeah. everything. So, all right. Enough about me and about uh, this Monday of Tuesdays. What are the experts saying about the fall housing market? I feel like we got to just take another swing at this because once again you're hearing market crashing market crashing we we're at the birthday party and i ran into somebody and they're like is the market okay yeah 
Market's fine. Friday and Saturday was candy day for the Lions Club. I am a Crest Hill Lion. I was proudly out there playing in traffic, as my uncle tells me to do when I was a child. Um, and, you know, handing out candy and raising funds. And I, I want to thank everybody that went through uh, Larkin Avenue and Route 30. The amount of donations we got were amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, so people, you know, really do, you know, practice what they preach. And it, it was a really good um you know, two days out there. But I even ran into, I was running into people in the middle of traffic. How, is the market okay? Yeah, the market's great. If people would st- stop freaking out and watching the clickbait. Yeah, I get it too. How's the market? How's the market? Really? Really? I'm like, it's fine. All right. Anyway. Ex- expert quotes for fall home buyers. All right. Recent article from realtor.com said what, Nancy? This fall, a more moderate pace of home selling. More listing to use from and softening price growth will provide some breathing room for buyers searching for home to play the best time to buy a home. I think this is always the best time. Of- I think it's a great time to buy the home. Yeah, I and think you get the best deals. Right now? Yeah. yeah the FHA buyers, the uh, buyers who needed closing cost credits, the, all these uh, VA buyers, the people that were that sellers weren't gravitating to first during the hot market, they're getting a chance now, and they're getting a chance. Yeah. Michael Land, VP and General Manager of Showing Time, buyers will continue to see less competition for homes and have more time to tour homes they like and consider their options. So that is true, but not as true as it sounds, I think for our market, because well, you're in a multiple. You had multiple offers, and it's you've been the going. Price through. point, yeah. It's got to do more with price point, yeah, definitely. And I've been in multiple offers for the last week and a half. Everything that I've touched has been a multiple offer. So, I, and I gotta, I gotta make a comment to our real estate agents out there. Open up your showing windows. I went to go set and set up an appointment last week. All right, a bunch of appointments, and two of them, fifteen minute windows only. All right, I get it during the craziness when you had twenty or thirty showings going on. You yes. had to limit that time frame. I disagree with it, which I get it. It's a business decision. It's your seller's decision. I get that, but make sure when you're putting your house on the market, you're you're giving them 30 to 45 minutes minimum, maybe an hour. I usually let, I'll give an hour window for the appointment. Because odds are they're seeing two or three houses that day. Odds are that they, there's traffic, unfortunately, with the way this construction's boomed yeah. in our area in the last month or so. I, it's like they waited till fall to start the construction. Well, all that money that went out for the infrastructure bill, it's hitting. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. So it hit. And now everybody's trying to get it going. It. All yeah. right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because I get it. We fund October through September, let's be honest. So, um, but still, there is less competition. And you can open up those showing windows. You can give more opportunities. Let that buyer get comfortable in your space. And if you're the seller, it's the smart thing to do. If you're only giving them 15 minutes in your property... They're not getting a chance to really settle in and look. You want them to look and you want them to feel comfortable and you want them to give them a chance to fall in love. You want them to feel like they're at home. Yeah. So that's why you take down the personal items, right? You take those personal things down because otherwise they don't see themselves in the house. They see you in the house. So, Selma Heap from CoreLogic uh, says, I love, love saying that name. Too. I know. I'm hoping I run into this individual in um, Orlando when I'm at uh, Expo. I'm going to go looking for this person. Uh, recorded uh, equity continues to... Pr- provide fuel for the housing demand, particularly if households are relocating to more 
affordable areas. And this is very, very true. You still have houses selling, all right, at top dollar. Prices have not started to go down. We saw some numbers from Joliet. Um, I, what do you, what do you want? We need to figure figure that out on the break. Where, what number? Okay. Well, we got to do it before the break. So um, think about it. Um, but you've got a lot of cash still in this market, and that's one of one of the reasons there's so much cash. The cash aspect of this, from people selling their houses and buying their next house, is making a huge impact in this market. All right, Daniel Hale, chief economist from Realtor.com, says what? For homeowners deciding whether to number that list prices, while lower than a few months ago, remain higher than in previous years. So you're still likely to find opportunities to cash in on record high level equity, particularly if you've owned your home. Totally true. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, the bottom line, you know, with mortgage rates and home prices being up, the fact is, is we're looking at probably higher rates as we wait longer. Mm-hmm. So and higher prices, I think, is a bigger impact than the rate personally. You know, so your best bet is to buy today. And then turn around and just refinance the house. When, when the rates go down and they will. Um, Refund? Well, even the market, remember, what was it, two weeks ago, signaled that that was going to happen. Mm-hmm. I think it was a week or two weeks ago. They all panicked and they started charging points up front because they were worried that people are just going to be refinancing these houses in 12 to 18 months. Yeah. And that they would lose money in the secondary market buying the mortgages. We talked about that. Um, all right. So, saving for a down payment, what do you need to know? Um, what is something that you need to know about saving for a down payment? Uh, the 20% down is a myth. Yeah, Please. A lot of FHA, 3% potential. What is it? Half? Five? F- three and a half uh, FHA. You can get conventionals at three, five, 10, 15. Yeah. It just depends on where your own credit score, your DTI, where everything is laid out. Now, the goal is 20%. Because yeah. then you don't have to pay insurance, all right, on the loan for the bank in case you default. So that will that puts more money going towards principal and or interest. That yeah. that um insurance, whether it's mortgage Premium insurance or premium mortgage insurance, and that depends on are you conventional or your FHA, uh, FHA, are a little different slightly in what they do, but it's still the same thing. Now, VAs, no, you don't have that with a VA loan. All right, so that's option. USA DA loans, you do have that. And if you're looking at a USDA loan, let's be honest, that's 100% financing. There's 100% financing options for USDA loans. You have to qualify. All right, but it, there's such great deals, and you don't need twenty percent down. Get in the home. Downpaymentresources.com. It is a common misconception that home buyer assistance is only available to first-time home buyers. However, thirty-eight percent of home buyer assistance programs in Q1 2022. Did not have a first time home buyer requirement. 38%. So if you're looking, and some of these have repayment concepts, all right? So if you get, let's say, $10,000 hypothetically, all right, does that mean you have to pay that $10,000 back? No. It may have a five year or a 10 year repayment penalty. Let's say it's 10 years. That means. Every year you're in the property, that property goes down by one-tenth, $1,000. You have to stay there 10 years. Well, if it's going to be your forever home, why not take take the 10 grand? Now, you got to watch your interest rates on these aspects. Really need to do due diligence. Your lender, ask plenty of questions. 
about what you qualify, what you don't qualify for, what the rates are, etc., to find the best the best package. Yeah, it, it, it's huge when it comes to looking at uh, aspects of trying to figure out um, what is the best option, what is the best package for you personally. Because here's the thing, you can take sometimes a lower interest rate on, a, on this, not take the down payment assistance, and you actually come out better. You come out farther ahead. So that's what you have to watch for is not, not, it's not just about, okay, what do I pay off? It's about that really that interest rate. And if sometimes those are a half a point or a point higher, it really, really can make a huge impact um, on what the value is going to be. All right, what do we want to look at? Should we look at Will County as a whole? Should we look at, we did Crest Hill, just did Crest Hill. We just did Crest Hill. What about Shanahan? I haven't looked at Dahan in a while. I have not looked at Shanahan. I have never heard anybody call it Dahan. Dahan? Dahan? More stories from 911 behind (laughs) the scenes. We could probably do a whole radio show on that. (laughs) All the stories I could tell. (laughs) All right, looking at Shanahan, median sales price is 312450 August over August. That is down 8%. The average sales price is 325851 down 1.8%. So year over year in August, we are starting to see some communities take somewhat of a hit. Now, in the last trailing 12 months, we are up 12, 11.9%. So when you're looking at the last 12 months, you are still up 11.9%. So it's all depending on how you look at the numbers. Average market time is still 23 days. Um, Shanahan's got a lot of new construction. And I've seen some builders cutting a lot of prices. And unfortunately, these numbers we cannot pull out um, new construction, at least on that screen. Hold on a second. Because now I'm curious. Yeah, how much? I am really curious. All right, so we are looking at Shanahan. Or the Han. <laughs> no one calls. All right. Detached single family. Resale. I want to pull out new construction. There we go. We can do it in the screen. All right. September over September median sales price three sixteen that is up eight six percent when you're looking so it's the new construction that's yeah. a, that's September over September up eight point six percent now last year was up eleven point nine all right average sales price it's up eight point seven all right let's flip the script let's look at the new construction. Average on new construction is 16.2 on the average sales price. On the median sales price for new construction, it's up 15.5. So I'm where's the disconnect? Yeah, I'm not. I don't see how are you getting oh well, no, because that's September over September. Um oh you know what? I'm going to bet you it's, it's the trailing 12 months. I'll bet you we did take a dip in September. This is uh, um, giving current September numbers. So let me go rolling three-month data here to date. No, I don't think no. that's it. it. I don't know. There's a, there is a disconnect there. That's interesting. That is very interesting on Hmm, we need to get somebody on the show that deals with this and to break down some numbers. Because numbers are the game right now. Everybody wants to know what the numbers are, and that is the game. All right, so market time is still actually down. Last August, it was 60 days in Shanahan. We're showing 23 days now. Inventory of homes is lower, 37%. 
or 37, or 37 uni units from 38 units, so it's a drop of 2.6%. Original list price received is 99.4, so there is... I was just going to say, does it have more to do with list price at a list kind of the ones that maybe didn't go as fast? Would that have to do with bringing down the... Well, yeah, but that would show in the other screen, you would think, here. So that's that's what I'm trying to figure out is, um, you know, because I got all price ranges listed. So um, let's look here. Look at Let's look at traffic. Um, listings to contract at 140, basically 149.99 or less, no data. 195 to 268. There's no data for 2022. 269 to 324, there's no data in 2022. There was 47 units sold last year in that price range. 325 or more, we have 36 units that are sold. And it's up. And we have, we're showing, yeah. So, interesting on the numbers. Very interesting. All right, let's take a quick break. When we get back from the break, um, we're going to continue uh, talking about what's going on in this market and what you need to do to get your property sold and bought. Buying, I think, is key. Right? The face for radio, the heart for real estate. It's Get Real with Eddie. Welcome back to Get Real with Eddie. Hey, if you got questions on the market, give me a call, 815-5478, or visit yourdwellings.com. W-G-S. And you can check out how valuable your property is when you're there. Just click on Seller Options getting that price all right thank you for <laughs> everybody's wondering what huh the screen size nancy likes very large print and bold i'm sitting 10 feet away from and you still <laughs> i didn't even mean to make it this large of a tight it font it is pretty big i don't need it this big but it's nice okay to have it, it this big. it's Let's nice it. all right well that's awesome all right so talking about buying and selling really want to focus on buying and talking about that journey and i mean honestly the first step of that journey is building your team so what makes up your team very simple your realtor your attorney your lender and a home inspector that's really your team you should have those four individuals in place now if you don't, what's the key people, person? I'm Yes, I'm biased. I'm going to say your realtor. Your realtor is going to know the other three. They're going to know a, a, a multiple lenders. They're going to go, know multiple attorneys. They're going to know multiple home inspectors. They're going to be able to refer, recommend, and guide you in that process. Okay? So this is the first step is getting that team together. And really the first step is finding your realtor. The next step... What would you say would be the next step, honestly, in that journey, Nancy? Well, once you've gotten your team together, or spoken to your realtor about getting, um, they will tell you you need. Yeah. Yep. So that's where you start. They need credit. They need to debt ratio. They need to find out from you payment, kind of payment you're comfortable with. All those goodies. Find out about your work, working, do you work for yourself, et cetera, et cetera. And they will help guide you to the best program that, that will. And that's where the down payment assistance we were talking about mm -hmm. before the break came, comes into play because they're the ones that know which programs are out there, which one's running, which ones have funds, which ones are out of funds all the time because they get those reports. We don't get that information. All right. So 
that's kind of key is, you know, and that's your next step. A lender will also say you've got a bill that I think went back in the 90s. You know, it makes nothing to you now, and you don't even remember it, but when they credit it and everything, see it gives you the opportunity to get fixed. Yeah, and that's that's key is getting those glitches going. So then, and the next step after that would be you know saving, boost your savings, talk to a professional about setting your down payment goals. Basically, start making your house payment to yourself. All and right, your lender will help you yep. figure all this. Tax returns another way to do it too. All right, um, if you have stocks, you can look at selling off stocks. Now you're going to take some tax hits. You got to talk to your advisors on that. But sometimes you, because you're buying a house, you can avoid paying those taxes because you're buying a house. So again, you've got to talk to your tax advisor on those aspects. Um, don't just go out and pull and then talk. You want to talk to those people ahead of time. Talk to your lender first before you start cashing in a 401k Absolutely. or stocks or any of that. Um, they'll help you figure out the best way. I have had, and we're getting back into a market that we can negotiate. And I've had clients have a 401k, bought a house with very little down, five grand maybe, and not actually have to pull money out of the 401k. And you're talking, let's be honest, about a $200,000 house, so three and a half percent, seven grand down on FHA deal. They had about five grand of themselves, all right? So they had closing costs, and you're allowed to ask for 6%. So we would, at, you ask for that 6%, and with the credits and everything else that came in, they had enough for closing. So mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to cash in that 401k. It depends on your personal options and your personal situation. But that's when you talk to the lender, and the lender's got to be willing to communicate with me with you, with your real estate agent, because that's how we know how to craft the offer and how to negotiate on your behalf and what you specifically need. It's not always about price. Sometimes it's money, uh, closing cost credits you need. Sometimes it's a certain date because you've got a landlord and the landlord wants you out by this date. Sometimes the seller has requirements because they're purchasing or they're doing they need, they're starting a new job somewhere. Out by that kind of always things that can make your offer better. That's what your tour does. And with that being said, moving into knowing your numbers is the next thing. Okay. Most lenders will qual uh, qualify you. Oh, you can buy a $300,000 house or $250,000 or $400,000 house. No. The true nature is you can afford a certain amount a month in a payment. $1,500, $2,000, $2,500, $3,000, whatever that number is, that's what you can afford in a payment. So you might in one area be looking at a $300,000 house, but in another area have to look at two seventy five. dollars because there's an HOA and the property taxes are higher because that's all the same payment. So if you know your numbers, really can craft your search and target in on your search to really truly find what you're looking for. And when your numbers are in start them communicating. It's where it's a teamwork. This that's is where it's, it's a, team. a team. Yeah. All right. Now now, finally, guess what we get to go do? Oh, buy a house. <laughs> now we get to go shop. We get to go look at the houses. Go house hunting. All right? Now, there's some things you should do and you shouldn't do. You have a realtor. Do not walk into new construction without your realtor. realtor. You have to have your real estate agent with you if you want them to work. So you know new construction. An open house is different. You can go into an open house. 
I would sign your first name and then your real estate agent's name and phone number. That's what I advise my clients to do. And don't buy that agent sitting there of your information. No personal information. And if they ask, just you sit. The e- it is so easy to say this. I'm sorry, we're not disclosing any of that. Uh, we'd like to see that we're here to see the open house. If you have questions, I've signed my agent's name on the paper, and you can call contact them for follow up because yeah. I know please, you're. Yeah. Please call my agent. Please call my agent. That's all you gotta say. Please yep. call my agent. I'm not looking to disclose any 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 informa- personal information, and that could be anything. Like, what are you looking for? Well, we're looking for exactly what you have. It hurts you on negotiating. Well, and that's the thing. You want to be very general. You can ask questions about that property. Just don't volunteer any information about, oh, yeah, well, we're closing on our house next week, and we need to find some place, and we need to, because that will all be used against you if you come back around. You need to negotiate it. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of negotiation. Anything. With that being said, the now they're missing a step in my view. All right. It says make an offer next. All right. I think the next thing you're doing is you're running comps and comparables. Well, I think that's part of the offer process. I don't go. And that's true. I'm, I'm getting, but I want to really get into the weeds on this. So, yeah, I would be making that offer next, all right, after you've done all the comps and all this stuff. And now, after we've got the offer agreed upon, signed contracts, everything, you know, if you're, like, in Illinois, we're closed at title, we close at the table state, all right, you're getting inspections, appraisals, everything done. If you're in another state that is an escrow state, you're closing the file, and that's contingent now on escrows and everything on the backside after closing. I know it sounds weird, but that's kind of how they do it in California. That's how you hear it on the TV and everything. You know, it's for so for those that are close at table states, that's well, how they do it. If, it, if you're a clo- escrow state, it, it's kind of, it, they flip it. Well, back into the other week. Yes. About seeing your con. Yes. Because you wanted to get back into how they're used to draft to create your offer. Can I have you hold that thought? All right. And we're then gonna, we'll wait for a break. And we're going to wait for a break, but before we hit the break, um, don't forget we have a awesome five-acre parcel um, out on Ridge Road that is for sale. List price is $600,000. Um, this property is great for development. Um, you have, a, basically, it's an open field right on Ridge Road, um, surrounded by Grant Park. Um, Grant, did I say Grand Park. Grant. Grant. I said Grant. So, uh, yeah, Grand Park. Um, so, yeah, check that out. If you are looking to get into a lot of purchase uh, of five acres or more, um, give me a call, 815-823-5478. And then we're going to get back into the weeds on what you should or shouldn't be doing when buying, going through the buying process. Keep it here with Get Real with Eddie. made a smart move to get real with Eddie, helping you make your next smart move into your next home. And helping you make that smart move is Nancy Valley. Nancy, what's the best number they can reach you at? My number, 815-545-1122. All right. So what was your thought going back to the CMAs? Well, I wanted to go back into the a little bit about a point of very important, or especially in this market, uh, determining what your offer price will be, what things you're closing at recently because it is changing. Very important to get that off. The other aspect, too, is can we kind of? I knew we were up against a break and I brushed over it. Um, the appraisal is important, but I think the home inspection is important. You really want that home. And it's not, 
I know there's a lot of people out there, oh, that's just to blow up the deal and get more money from the sellers. You know what? That's a buyer's choice, all right? You do the inspections so you know what the to-do list is. Yes, you don't want to know, yep. have a really good, thorough picture yep. of that house. Yes, you need to know everything of what's going on with that house and how do what repairs, what things gotten missed, what needs to get updated, so as you move forward, it's in good shape and that it's going to last you. I mean, we have done a furnace in my house. We have done, we're now onto a second dishwasher because the first dishwasher just didn't cooperate after we replaced it. So top of the line too. I'm not going to say top the of brand. The line doesn't necessarily oh, mean I am the best. So this was the best one according to Consumer Reports, and I'll leave it there. But and they no support. It's and the the problem it's having all over YouTube, all over YouTube. And by the way, I remind everybody: if you have something that needs to get fixed, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. If you want to look at our show, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube, <laughs> or go to GetRealWithEddie.com. Um, yeah, I mean, because that's where we put it. We put it on YouTube, and that's how we get it. Out, hold it on the uh, website. Um, but it's yeah, a cheap plug. well, you know, I'll take whatever the <laughs> plug I can get. Let me tell you. Um, all right. So after all that's all done, you you got your comps, you make your offer, you negotiate it out, you turn around and you get your home inspections done. You know, and and. Digressing, honestly, the real that's the realtor's expertise. That your real estate agent is should be an expert negotiator, should be expert at pulling those comps and coming up with that value. That it's not finding the houses anymore. It's not we never were keys or guardians of the keys. I always thought that was a misnomer. I always looked at it as you know, Michael Jordan playing basketball greatest basketball player ever. He still had an agent that negotiated his contracts for on his behalf with the Bulls. Well, and running the, you know, just knowing how to coordinate everything. Sure that you get your due yeah. diligence done in five days. And yeah. that the attorney got his thing going. That's a key to keeping yeah. it going forward. Absolutely. So now you make it official, you close. You haven't bought a new car, bought a new furniture, ran up any credit cards, anything before close day. Please. You do not buy Please. anything until Don't after the keys are in your car. Hand. In your car. In your hand. <laughs> you get a car and you get a car. No, because then you don't get a home. Right. Because you've changed your debt to income ratios. And it just recently happened. Working. They bought a new car? No, they spent five thousand dollars. Yeah, and that changes now your payment monthly and payment it structure. The whole. Did you save it? Deal. Yes, it is. See, but see. they did a lot of work to save. It. See how <laughs> outstanding, amazing. Um, now you move in. I know this is the tricky part because we say, "Oh, now you move in." You have to schedule and book those movers early. So get those booked and get those scheduled earlier in the process. You can't call them up, hey, we just closed. I need movers. John, a couple weeks ago, was it John that gave us, uh, was it to move or move? I can't remember the website he gave. I know. But you know what? Part of it is, too, that closing dates, closing dates. I have said this for years. I kind of think of it as like a pregnancy. Uh, it's exactly you have a what. Due date. <laughs> uh, it's exactly how I, and I know it's bad to say that. I know there's so much going on, and there's so many lives involved in this. But it, that is always babies come when they're going to come, houses close when they're when they're ready to close. Exactly. I mean, unfortunately, lenders have a lot of regulatory hoops they have to jump through to make sure you qualify and you can purchase. One little glitch. Yeah. One innocent little glitch. And or an innocent little credit card charge that can blow things up. Yep. Well, we, have, we need two weeks to fix this or two weeks for that. Exactly. And it's like, we were supposed to close in 15 days. What do you mean you need two weeks? But, yeah, if you have to reach score, remove, redo, it's very, very easy for 
everything to go kind of out the door. Go sideways. We're supposed to be keeping the boat righted. That's what we do. And it's not all things we can see. Yeah. Because there's so many moving things, so much out there, so many unknowns. You know, that you, oh, I would have never, I've never had this happen before. 21 years in the business coming up on. I'll have 21 years completed November 11th. And still, I have things. Yep, this is brand new. Never seen this before. Yeah. That's the fun, but I, I and I know it's it, it, it's crazy and it affects people, but at the same token, that is one of the things that intrigues me about this business and makes it fun. It's the problem. That's what I like. It's the challenge of problems. That, that's part of it. But the other aspect is ne- you never have the same problem twice. Very seldom. <laughs> it's, Boy, I've come up against a whole slew of them. Okay, so, 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 so here, here's a normal week for us. I get this phone call, what, two, three times a week. All right, what would you do? I, all right, how, how would you handle this? I yeah. mean, so you want, yeah, the phone call, you won't believe this one. Yeah, that, that's the third, usually the, by the third phone call of the week. So you've been quiet this week, but it's only Tuesday. I was going to say a lot's been rolling. Yeah. <laughs> On the air, but it's been it, a lot. It's been a, it's been a it's long, been a lot. it was a long weekend. You were out showing. I had some stuff I was taking care of. And then. I was out for the Lions uh, for Candy Day, which I always like to say I was playing playing in traffic. Um, and then I was uh, we had the kids' birthday, so which was so much fun. So uh, kid. yeah, we had a birthday party at the trampoline place, so we were jumping on trampolines. And you which, didn't break your ankle, which is even better. I was hitting a good six feet in the air. And I had no neuropathy from bouncing on the trampolines before when I'd go and hit the trampolines. Um, wouldn't hurt, but it would set off the pins and needles and the tingling. Uh, so we're getting there. We are getting there slowly but surely. Um, so... It was just it was it was a just a great week. I'm really starting to notice, you know, that I'm really starting to feel better. So really getting the, back to a healthy spot. You know, I still ha- still have some stuff I'm working on. Still watching the blood sugar because I'm no type two diabetic. But we got we got that pretty under control. So we went in eleven weeks went from a ten two on an A one C down to just work cutting the carbs as much as possible because i like food and, and, don't we? oh no. it's, it's and just it's the stuff that's bad for you. well i know and it's just, but it's such good, so yeah. good well it's not really good problem um it, it's yeah all right, I think that wraps it up for this week. So, uh, wow. I know. It really well, does. It, was. It, it really was. It was a really quick hour. I mean, I can't I complain at all. Um, don't forget, check out GetRealWithEddie.com. We've got all the show, past shows up there, articles for the show, the whole nine yards. Or go to YouTube. Or go to YouTube. So check that all out until we're back on the air next week. GetRealWithEddie.com Thanks for listening to Get Real with Eddie. Eddie Rudiger is a realtor at Baird & Warner in Plainfield, license number 475-141-896. Managing broker Steve Engel. For more information on your neighborhood, call Eddie at 815-823-5478 or visit yourdwellings.com.